Hi there, Chris here. Um, I have something special in my vice today. It is a challenge lock from Mr. Bill Bacardi. It is challenge lock number 68. Um, and I poked it a little bit and it is <laughs> an amazing, an amazing challenge lock. Um, Here's the bidding on the key, and this lock has you going around and around and around. It, it works fine, you give it a little wiggle, it goes right in, it goes either way, and I am going to try and pick this open on camera. Um, like I say, this is, this is the real deal. <laughs> this is, this is a Bill Bacardi challenge lock, and it is uh, quite a challenge. So let's see if I can get this in, or get this open. All right, I get a little false set, a little bit more of a false set there. So I'm going to look and see who may want to be picked. I think I touched three or four and got a little bit more false set. But that's what this lock does. It gives you these tremendous false sets. And to raise, raise up out of there on the security pins and the magic inside, Boy, often you lose most of your false set and you gotta start over. But I really like this lock. I'm getting some counter rotation. I'm letting off some tension. Okay, I got that one set. I got a deeper false set, which is a good and a bad thing. Um, I'm gonna check pin number one. That was not good. Let's see. I don't know if we lost everything or not. I don't think so. We still have a pretty deep false set. So I'm gonna try and check number one again. And not the tension wrench. I think one is set. Two may be set as well, but it is a, this guy's a fight. Oh, we got a deeper false set. I'm on pin five. I think I have it set. Uh, when I'm pushing up on the core, that counter rotation might just be pushing on the core. We'll, we'll try and set that. But I think it is set. <laughs> okay, I've lost everything. Oh, got it back. Let me give it a little rake here and see if we can't improve our sets here. Adjust my wrench. Like one is good. Uh, I'm trying to find two in here. Maybe two set. go further back. Falling off pins. I'm going to make sure that's good. Don't want to get it and lose it at the last moment. Who 
is it? Who wants to be picked? Is it this guy? Could be a mistake. <laughs> Not quite as deep a false set. Going in the back. See what four has. Oh, and we got an open. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is one tough lock. All right, let's let's get this ready for gutting. Um <laughs> Okay, so let's get it back in the frame. Rotate this down a little bit. Wow, I'm shaky. I, I'm like Albert, Albert LaBelle will, will get one and then he gets the shakes. And I, I resemble the, that remark. Okay, I am gonna lock it back up and take off the a little clip here. Try and keep everything in frame. All right, clip off. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get a shim in here. He said. There we go. Oof, careful. All right. Um, yeah, here we go. All right, so far so good. Um, everything needed picking. Key pin number two. I'm sorry, that was number three. Get some tweezers going here. Look at that key pin. How about that? Okay, number four. Come on. Or five and four. All right. We'll take a look at the core here. Get these pins set up right. He said, Man, I'm so excited about getting this. Um, what's done to the core here? Let's get a little poker, a little tiny pick. I think the core is stuck. All right. Let's take the shim out. And those are not my favorite tweezers. Let's see here. Okay, I hope we can see well. All right, this is driver pin number one. That's a standard. like a steel spring. Go on for two. That is a very cool pin. Um, here's number three. We'll 
Let's not have a gutting disaster. I specialize in those. Here's number four. And we grab number five. Whoa. Okay, we'll get the springs out here. That one was the second one. That one was there. And then there's got to be another one. Different springs. Or a few different springs, let's say. Um, 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 that's out. That's out. That's out. I can't see in here. I think there's one in. There's a little copper spring in four that is not coming out. I don't know if we can see that. Let's see if I can put a light on it. He said, still excited about this. All right. Can we see in there? No. Nope. <laughs> I can't get the light in. Wait a minute. If I wasn't such a doof, we could do this. But anyway, there's a little tiny copper spring in there and I'm not gonna force it out. I don't wanna mess, mess it up. But let me get the keys straightened out again, or the pins straightened out again, and we will look at this. Um, no, I'm not coming out. I'm not feeling anything in this Bible Okay, let me put these back where they went. My goodness. Okay, this goes there. All right, let's give a little close up on the pins. If I can do that. Okay, the first one is a very long standard key pin. Second one is a, just another standard key pin. Third one is a very long key pin with a very sharp, where are we? Serration on the edge of it. We can see that. Uh, four is a standard, five is a standard. Number one driver is a standard. Number two is a boy, where am I? A nice spool, which is trying to escape. Um, number four is about the same. And it almost looks like it has a little tiny serrations in on that spool. Really cool pins. Number five, long, long spool with a sharp top on it. Wow. I, I want to thank Bill Bacardi for, for pinning this up. Um, again, it's Bill Bacardi, number 68. Um, there again is the bidding. And I especially want to thank Mr. Beresback for sending me this. Um, please uh, like and comment. I love the comments. Uh, and um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.